Welcome to SmackDown. We are five days removed from an unforgettable Extreme Rules. Hello again, everybody. Michael Cole, and as always, joined by the Hall of Famer, Jerry Lawler. And King, ever since Extreme Rules, nobody has seen or heard from the former number one contender that I quite am very concerned. Well, at Extreme Rules, the Miz attempted a career of Triple A by coming the heavy ring step onto Hunter's injured leg but it backfired and crashed down on his own leg. And of course, that night, Triple H also completed in that triple threat match for the WWE title. But it was Randy Orton who reigned. We hear from the game next. Two things I wanted most on this planet were in my clutches and ripped away from me by a viper. You see, I had it all planned out that last night I would do something terribly painful to the Miz and win the WWE Championship. But instead, Orton slithers to victory. The Miz's career comes to an end, and I wasn't going to do it. Awesome. What? That's the Miz's music. Whoa! Hill, <laughs> Miz seems to be having some difficulties. Triple H, absolutely right. My career as a WWE superstar did come to an end last night. Thanks to what my lawyers considered an unsafe work environment, steel steps fell directly on my legs. You know, ones you could barely lift over your head? No, they should have been better secured. And evidently, the WWE board of directors feels the same way as they have offered me a new role within the company. Look, Miz, I'm glad you still around and all, but I think our custodial staff does a fantastic job already. No, I have something with a little more prestige. I am the new general manager of SmackDown. Enough of this. Allow me to personally introduce the newest misfit. Tonight, Phoenix, Arizona plays host to Friday Night Smash. Michael Cole along with the King Jerry Lawler and King usually I'd kick it over to you here but it appears our new Smackdown general manager has something to say Triple H we need to talk Come on Triple H to keep the WWE Universe waiting What do you want, Miz? I'm glad you asked that. You see, now that I'm general manager, I have to focus on things like ratings. So what I want is what you want. I want to see Randy Orton versus Triple H for the championship. And you're just gonna make that happen? Well, not exactly. You see, I know you're still a little sore with me, and I want to extend an olive branch. I want Triple H to win a WWE title for a record 17th time, and I want to see you get that opportunity in two weeks. You've got to be kidding me. How many chances will Triple H get at the WWE Championship? I'm just as deserving as him. Fine, Edge. If you think you can defeat Triple H, then let's see it right now. Wow, we're getting the number one contender match right now. Well, nobody said that the Miz wasn't decisive. Almost took his head off with that Larian. 
Triple H just teed off. Hey, ouch, that's gotta hurt. Watch out here. If you missed it, this match was created after our new SmackDown general manager, The Miz, offered Triple H a rematch with the WWE Champion Randy Orton at Over the Limit. Well, Edge, however, had an opposing viewpoint on the subject, which is why the match. So you disagree with Edge? Listen, I generally disagree with Edge, but you know what? In this case, I have no problem with these men having a number one contender match. What should Edge be looking to do now, King? Hey, Triple H! The game sticks the spine buster. And the pain has shooting through his face. Edge is feeling it. Pedigree! Pedigree! No, oh, no! Edge countered! What? What? Where did Ziggler One, come from? Two! Three! Triple H wins! The official didn't see it! I don't understand what just happened. Why would Dolph Ziggler help Triple H? Well, we know, King, is it appears that Triple H is the number one contender for the WWE title.